Hello. Let me show you my new invention. It's a luxury solar bicycle camping trailer. The reason I have built this trailer is to travel throughout Quebec and Ontario on my assist on my electric assist pedego bicycle while staying in campgrounds and preparing my own food. On past trips I've lived out of bicycle panniers for days and even weeks at a time and found it to be very hard. With panniers we're very limited in what we can carry and whatever you're looking for will invariably be right at the bottom of the second pannier you look through. I've reached the stage in my life when I want to indulge in, uh, uh, in creature comforts. So that's why I built this trailer. Not only is it big, but the way it's organized will make everything about camping easier for me, as you will see. The trailer is built out of 1 8 inch thick coroplast. You know the corrugated plastic sheeting that election signs are made of. It's available from building materials suppliers. Let me show you some of the details. Um, to begin with, it's slightly, it's 47 inches long all told from end to end and it's slightly curved at the front to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Uh, the body is 18 and a half inches wide and it fits within the wheels that are 24 inches apart from one end of the axle to the other. Um, the uh, panel itself, the solar panel, um, is uh, hooked up directly to the bicycle so I can charge while while I'm underway. See the wire goes up here and in here and it hooks into the battery right there. Um, now I'm going to open the the top so that you can see how it's organized inside because that's one of the more important things about it and you'll also see some of the construction details so if it opens this way you'll have a better look at it when when I finish propping it up I have to prop up the cover the cover I'll just back up a little bit so you can have an overall view now of what it looks like when it's open there you are and the main feature of the of the box is that it contains six storage uh, containers. Oh, by the way, uh, the tent poles I've joined together so I don't have as many pieces to assemble when I'm putting my tent up. Um, the boxes can be lifted out quite easily, like this. Here is my kitchen with my stove and all the you know, the, the dinnerware and so forth. This one here is my clothing, which I take into the tent with me. Um, this one here is the tent itself. Now the nice thing about having things in boxes is like this, is that I don't need to roll up the tent at night. Just at, in the morning, that is. I just have to stuff it into the box and there it is. Much less work. Let's go and have a look at the construction details here. You see that the box, the main box, is made out of chloroplast, reinforced with one by one pine, right here, as you can see. And this is the back part. Um, it, the, the cover and the box are hinged together with a piano hinge. Um, and in order to strengthen the box and the top, I've uh, screwed pieces of uh, one by five pine which I've drilled out to make it to make them lighter and the, the and this uh, instrument here is the boost controller so it boosts the power uh, the voltage from 12 volts to 48 volts which is what the battery needs um. The wheels and the tongue 
had been borrowed from my my um, uh, Burley trailer. Uh, they're 16 inches in diameter. They're supposed to be able to carry 100 pounds, so it should be plenty for this uh, purpose. And the tongue is, also comes from the Burley trailer. It's attached to the axle of the wheel. The advantage of that is that um, uh, there is less danger of jackknifing than the trailers that are attached to the seat post. Some are attached to the seat post, so when you brake hard, it tends to throw you to one side or the other. So, um, tomorrow I'll be going on a test run. Um, I'll be going to a campsite about 60 kilometers from here, stay overnight, try everything out, make sure that all the systems work, and uh, before I then I'll come back home and maybe make some modifications if necessary and uh, then I'll be leaving for I don't know an extended period of time it'll depends on how I feel uh, so uh, I'm going to report to, to you uh, on another video tomorrow or the day after yeah the day after more likely in the meantime if you want more information go to my website robertberio.com as indicated on the screen here. Thank you for watching.